Hi, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use an image to create a background color or texture in the sidebar. So as I scroll up and down my demonstration blog you can see it's kind of a, if you zoom in a little bit here, you can see that it's yellow, the page color content is yellow and the sidebar has kind of a whatever grayish, bluish texture background. I'm going to show you how to use an image to create that. Now the yellow color was created in another video I created which shows how to use solid colors for page background and site background and on the right and left hand side you see this wood grain and that's in yet another video that I used which showed how to use background images for the site background and the page background. The demonstration blog I'm using right here which is Jim's Max GXL marketing team. This is using WordPress version 3.1.0 along with the thesis theme version 1.8. Okay, here's the, this is the blog, here's the blog, and this is what it looks like without any background image in the sidebar or color. And I'm going to click on this tab right here, which brings me to the dashboard of Jim's Max GXL marketing team where I've already logged in. Now, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to scroll down, and you can see there is the thesis tab here. I'm going to click on Site Options and scroll down, and where it says Custom Style Sheet Options, just click to the right and just make sure this Enable custom style sheet button is checked. It usually is by default. If you just checked it right now because it wasn't checked and you just checked it, you want to click on the big ass save button. Okay, I'm going to click here to go back to the dashboard. The next thing we're going to do is copy and paste some code. So I'm going to click on this file and I'm going to open a file. This file right here is in Notepad. You, this code you can find on my blog, and the address to my blog is right here at the top, jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com. So step number one, let's just copy this code here. I highlighted everything. I'm going to press Control-C on a Windows to copy. Command-C on a Mac. Click on the white area to deselect. I'm going to click on the little button there to minimize the file going to go back down to thesis, click on custom file editor, and you want to make sure you're in where it says custom.css, where it opens up first by default. Scroll down a little here. I'm going to scroll to the very bottom. I'm just going to put the cursor right there and press the control V as like control Victor key to paste. That would be command V or command Victor on a Mac. And then I'm going to click the big S save button to save our work. Now I'm going to go up to the media library, which you can see right here. I have already uploaded the images that I need to use for that background for the sidebar. If you haven't done that, you'd click on add new. I'm going to click on the library. And I'm going to start off with the solid color. So I've already created this image. I'll tell you how to do that in a minute. So I'm going to click here. And please note up here where it says the dimensions of this graphic. This is a picture of what the graphic looks like. The dimensions are 435 pixels wide, and that is critical so it fits in just so across those or behind those or inside those two sidebars. Now, scroll down to where it says File URL. Click in here, and you won't get a cursor or, or anything to indicate that you've clicked in the right place. But once you do, just press Control a to select all on a Windows, Command A on a Mac, and then Control C to copy, Command C on a Mac. I'm going to click on the gray area to deselect. I'm going to go back down to Custom File Editor, scroll down, and this is the code that we just pasted in here where it says paste image URL here. Obviously, I'm just going to paste over that. So I'm going to press Control and then the V key, and that's going to paste the URL for the image that I just copied. Click Big S Save button. All right, now I'm going to click this tab, and we'll. This is the. You can see the sidebar without the background image. I'm going to click Reload because I'm in Google Chrome browser. You click Refresh if you're in another. And so you can see that that image now 
tiles along the y-axis top to bottom on the right hand side in the sidebar. Now how did I know to make the image 435 pixels wide? So let me show you that. I'm going to click here, go back to the dashboard. I'm going to click on the thesis design options and, and where it says columns right under site layout you're going to click that. There are three columns. Now these two numbers you can see right here. Here's sidebar one and here's sidebar 2 and 195 is the number of pixels wide sidebar 1 and 195 is the number of pixels for sidebar 2. You add the two together and they come out to 390. Now the width if you remember of the graphic image that I used is 435 pixels wide not 390. So how did I know it was supposed to be 435 pixels? Well it's going to vary according to the size of course of your sidebars. I just used trial and error. I started out at 390 it was too small and then I went up to 450 and then I found out just by trial and error that 435 pixels wide is the exact width that I need. The height which I used 44 pixels high was just arbitrary. You don't want to use too small uh, height for the image. You don't want to use like, you know, two or four or five pixels because the computer has to keep redrawing that graphic from top to bottom all the, all the way down the computer screen. And that's just unnecessary work and may slow down the downloading of the uh, page a little bit. So you don't want to do that. You could use a bigger height, a greater height for the image, and that probably would not have a negative side effect. Okay, the next question is, so how did I create the graphic? Well, one thing I did is I started with this website called All Free Backgrounds. And I just chose a couple of the backgrounds here. I'll show you them in a minute and you just right click download the image first of all and then what you're going to do is just resize that image so it's 435 pixels wide or whatever width you need for your sidebar. The programs that you would use would be like Photoshop or Illustrator or Fireworks or whatever you have. If you don't have a graphics editing program, you can just go to Google and there are a lot of free programs that will allow you to do simple things like create little rectangles and images and things like that. Okay, so now that we've got all that squared away, I'm just going to go back and give you a couple of more examples. This is what it looks like now. We've got the solid blue color. I'm just going to give you some textured backgrounds and how to do that. We're going to go back up to Media Library. I'm going to click on, let's go with Stripes. And once again, you can see it's the image is 435 pixels wide. Go down where it says File URL. Click here once. Control A to highlight all. Control C to copy. Click the gray area to deselect, back to custom file editor, scroll to the very, very bottom where I just pasted my code in here, and then I'm just going to paste over this code that I already have. You can even hit the backspace if you feel more comfortable, then control V, the control victor key to paste, command V on a Mac, hit big ass save button and we're going to go back to the blog. I'm going to hit the reload on the Chrome browser, refresh on other types of browsers, and you can see we've got the stripes going down sidebars one and two. Looks kind of nice. A couple more textures and we will be done. Now I already know the URL for a couple of the other images so I don't need to cut and paste every single time. For instance, I know one is paper I think it's actually paper 11. So let me go with, click the big S save button, go back here, hit reload, and yes it did work. I think that was the original one that we looked at. Okay, and one more and we'll be done. Just so you can get a feel for the different types of background textures. Boom, boom, change that to a 2.
back here, click reload. And yes, we've got the paper. It's kind of a subtle background. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's a very similar color to the page, but there's some texture in there. And it just gives it a little more character. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please click the like button if there is one. Please add your comments to the video or my blog and subscribe to my blog because that's what keeps me motivated to keep cranking out these videos for you. Have a great day. Thank you so much.